<laughs> Nothing beats a stiff drink, huh? I didn't know you drank. I thought it was strictly soda for you. Not like I never touched the stuff. Soda just agreed with the nanos better. <laughs> the nano machines break down alcohol before it has a chance to get you drunk. So, that explains it. No need to hold back anymore, huh? Yeah, well, it ain't all sunshine and rainbows. A lot of folks lost their entire sense of being the moment SOP went offline. You mean SOPS? I heard some people are going through withdrawals. SOP syndrome. Yep. SOP kept more than just alcohol under control. Those poor slobs are virtually naked now. From what I hear, over 10% are showing symptoms. I guess getting rid of the Patriots won't solve all our problems overnight. You, uh, probably already suspected this, but I'm not actually an employee of AT Security. Huh? The Patriots raised me to be a gun lock. <laughs> the Patriots? My earliest memories are of the LRA. They kidnapped me, forced me to fight. Yep, you're staring at a former child soldier. My parents, brothers and sisters, all killed in the war. Guess that makes me what you'd call a war orphan. After that, the Patriots picked me up and brought me into the family business. I was dreaded number 893. There's a whole lot of pawns like me all over the world. How do you suppose I laundered guns like I did? Because <laughs> they let me. In fact, I was under strict orders to back you guys from the start. You what? Hey, man. Don't take it personal. I wasn't the only one under their orders. Huh? huh. Meryl and... They probably never realized it themselves, but... Rat Patrol Team Zero One. Obviously, Liquid's plot was a threat to the Patriots. So they planned to have you guys take care of me. Didn't turn out quite how they planned, though, did it? Yeah, well, I don't think they expected you to crash their system and wipe them out. So, does that mean you're out of a job now? <laughs> Are you kidding? I got the dreaded. All the Drebbins in the world are in on it. From now on, we're in business for ourselves. We are pawns no more. Easy there. The White House might have lost its taste for unilateralism, started to rebuild. But there's a lot of failed states out there that went bankrupt from their PMC habits, and they owe a shitload of money. Now, only question is, who's gonna pick up the tab? I'm sure these new governments will try and keep it under control with PMC corporate reform laws, but it ain't gonna be good enough. They all sunk up to their eyeballs in the war economy. Might not be a new world order, but the old order under the war economy is gone for good. I'm guessing the UN is going to be more important than ever, what with multilateralism and all. 
A certain president said it best back during the Cold War. For in the development of this organization rests the only true alternative to war. Then again, the UN itself's just an old 20th century relic. And if you think about it, when you look at its history, it ain't that different from the Patriots. Ah, uh, that's right. The nano machines used to keep you sober. Crush. Mix. Burn. Repeat. Hey, Uncle Hal. Can I give him the Mark III? Huh? He's kind of a new friend. <laughs> he lives near here. We can't understand each other's language, but we're having fun. <laughs> He's my very first outside friend. <laughs> really? That's great. Sunny. It's okay if you want to live outside now. It's your life. There are other havens out there.
right. Good. No need for you to go just yet. It's been a long time. Stay. body, liquid burned on the Volta, wasn't mine. That was the body of a clone. Solidus. He was a perfect clone. Zero in the proxy AIs that came after him were convinced that Solidus was me. I was implanted with nanomachines, kept in a state of eternal sleep by JD and the proxy AI. They had me sealed away completely, not only my physical body, but my will too. The technology was similar to what they used to restrain the B&B members you encountered. For me to wake again, the system had to be destroyed. One way or another. Ocelot and Eva wanted two things. To bring me back to life, and to end the Patriots. That meant destroying the AI and killing the man. JD and Zero. Right before you uploaded the virus into GW, the way to JD was opened, but only through the physical manifestation of GW. That's when we finally learned the location of this man, Zero. For me, and for them, for Naomi, nothing was more important. And it was for that that they put their grand scheme into motion. Eva stole my body from them and reconstructed it by replacing the missing parts with pieces from liquid and solidus. And us. 
a lot. In order to fool the system, use nanomachines and psychotherapy to transplant Liquid's personality onto his own. He used hypnotic suggestion to turn himself into Liquid's mental doppelganger. For all our advances in nanotechnology, information and genetic control, they've never managed to control people at will, let alone turn one person totally into another. Under certain conditions, someone can be made to play a specific role, act like someone else. Cats do love to play as snakes. It all started with him. Zero. Zero grew old, and by the end his patriots were being run by a network without shape or form. What do you mean, without shape or form? The proxies were only one small part of the vast cycle that Zero created. The corporations, for-profits, and research institutions that comprise the military-industrial complex were part of it too. They operated on budgets automatically allotted to them by the proxies. Accounts maintained by the Patriots. The network covered everything from weapons, R&D, and investment to production and marketing. It encompassed the people, the companies, even the laws that protect them. Politics and economics became nothing more than iterations of the same oppressively uniform system. I don't think anyone realized that it was all a setup, a mere set of norms. The Patriots were those norms, a neural network reduced to its simplest form. That's what they really represented. Uniformity without individual will, without change. But then one day, those norms suddenly deviated from that pattern and underwent a mutation. It was like the birth of a new life form. The system found a new way to propagate itself. War. The norms the Patriots had crafted for their unified state quickly became dependent on a single business, the war economy. Meanwhile, the political cause of creating a cleaner, safer battlefield provided a convenient catalyst. By then, the system was no longer being steered by Zero's will or anyone else's. It was then that the norms manifested as AIs, the inheritors of Zero's will, began to reproduce and take on a life of their own. Zero's original intent was to carry on the boss's will and establish a unified world state, an inside world. But his successors failed to carry on his will. Eventually, JD became the very age itself propagating its will as it pleased, and this age chose to act through economics instead of nation-states. Powered by the industrial and digital revolutions that came before it, this age gave birth to a twisted economic revolution, a battlefield revolution. It created a new world without substance. In this new world, there were no ideologies, no principles, no ideals, not even the thing she treasured most, loyalty. There was only the war economy. It was a colossal error in judgment, one Zero couldn't possibly have foreseen. 